tremendously. And then on the other uh, aspect of that, the church is just doing great. The Lord has blessed us uh, immensely. We've been having some great services and having some great, uh, just all sorts of just wonderful things happen in that liberty. Right now we're in the midst of studying about uh, church uh, history and, and some spiritual disciplines and God has really blessed us through that, and uh, we're growing, and love to have you out at Liberty. We're there in Corbin off of the bypass, and then I'll speak about Candle Ridge. They are a wonderful church. I was I was a member there. That's where I was ordained, and uh, Pastor Sam Moore is my pastor there, and uh, and they've just got a tremendous church as well and doing really good, and, and they have some excellent talent, as you can see. Uh, from uh, the singing tonight over there at that church and uh, they would absolutely love to to have you come and visit them as well I know Sam would welcome you right on and, and uh, we uh, we're pretty close to one another the two churches uh, but at the same time you have to be a bird to be that close because you've got to go a long ways around to get to the two churches so if you can climb a mountain you can get to them pretty quick but when you get in the car it takes pretty good little distance to get between them but uh, we uh, we're thankful that we have such a good relationship with Candle yeah. Ridge and with yeah. Liberty and we get to share a lot of things and God's blessed us and uh, I don't I don't want to miss this but uh, there was a, a pastor Blake Pinson that called in a request for uh, a church member that's sick and, and uh, we want to definitely lift that up to the Lord and remember that and remember our church uh, you know we have a lot of lost that are that are attending and uh, you know the Lord is is dealing with their hearts, and and in His time, He'll deliver. I yeah. truly believe that. Amen. Well, that sounds really, really good. And um, as long as we're going forward, we're okay. That's right. But we can't stop, and we certainly don't want to go the other direction. Here's a, a little nine-year-old boy, John, from Jackson County that's had a seizure and he's been taken to the hospital tonight. And there's others here that uh, is very serious. And But you know, you was talking about how, the, how serious it is when someone loses a pet. Uh, this is uh, where a lot of emotional healing needs to take place. And, and uh, I, I can... Uh, I can tell you, I know this. This I knew this one lady, and she's done a lot for a W. L. Chase. No, our dog's gone. Uh, we had a real nice big dog, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's gone. So we have no idea what happened to him. But it, it but it still, it bothers me. Wonder what happened to him. Is somebody did somebody get him? Is somebody being mean to him? And you know all these things that goes across your mind. But you have to commit them to the Lord but you know uh, sometimes when people are not allowed to grieve over their uh, losing their pets they carry that hurt for years I know a lady that came here for counseling uh, some time back and she had had a kitten when she was little and it had uh, gotten run over and her parents thought that was silly for her to cry over her pet so she was uh, she was ready to retire from the workforce, and but yet she was still hurting so much over that little cat because she was never allowed to grieve over it because they didn't think it's important. But I'm glad you think it's important. I'm glad you give the people uh, a chance and uh, uh, and you know uh, if uh, if since we know that God uh, is concerned about everything that concerns us, then we know that he cares about what's happening. We have a lot of prayer requests in for people praying for their dogs. And so, uh, okay, um, Brother Keaton, would you, uh, you've already anointed the prayer requests, and so uh, so there's how much time we got. Our Lord, Father, we thank you again for allowing us to be here tonight. God, we thank you, dear Lord, for allowing us to lift up your name in praise. And, Father, you've blessed us with safety to be here. God, I pray, dear Lord, for safety to go home. And, God, for these prayer requests, dear Lord, that have been called in, God, dear Lord, we, we don't know and we don't understand everything, but, God, we know that you do. God, you see every one of these. And, God, dear Lord, you know the trouble. 
God, dear Lord, you've experienced it as you walked here in flesh. And dear Lord, we know that if we come to you and we lay our burdens at the cross, God, you said, Father, that you would answer our prayers. And Father, dear Lord, I come to you now. Thy will be done, God. I ask, Father, in your time and in your way, God, dear Lord, that you would answer these prayers, that you would bless these hearts. God, dear Lord, that you would heal these sick, touch these bodies, mend these spirits. And God, Father, once again, that you would save our people. We give you praise and glory now, Father, for all these things. Bless this program, and thank you for Sister Margaret and all that she does. And we come to you now as humble as we know how, in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And uh, now, if uh, people would like to get in touch with you, is this the number that they can reach you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, 344-1081. That's 606-344-1081. And... I'm not with my phone right now, so you'll just have to leave a message. I'm, I'm not able to answer it right at the moment, but uh, if you want to call, we'll, uh, we'll definitely talk with you and, and uh, minister until you best we have. And, and uh, it's kind of a misnomer about selling CDs. We, we don't really sell them. We just kind of give them out and uh, ask maybe for some postage money or something like that. But uh, if you, if you, we have a few copies of our music and stuff that we've made, just simple recordings. They're not any Nashville style type stuff but if you'd like to have it we'd be sure to uh, try to get it to you and we had a lady called once from florida wanting some and we got her some cds and just tickled her to death and but we'll make you a copy and we'll sure send it to you and i hope it'll be a blessing unto you but just give us a call and the final answer leave us a message there all right uh thank you very much and it uh, looks like our time has come and gone for the uh, tonight but uh you can get up at six o'clock in the morning and listen all this good singing again get your day off to a good start well we're out of time so from all of us here in the studio we want to say good night and god bless you